So here are some different kinds of agricultural zoning uh, that you can use depending on where you are. Let's say we have a 100-acre farm here, and if you divided that 100 acres into five-acre lots, you could put in 20 five-acre lots, okay? And you see that often in sort of the, the outer suburbs, that pattern. Um, or you can have large lot, one house per 25 acres, so if you wanted to build a house, you'd have to buy 25 acres. And this large lot or large minimum lot size zoning is what you tend to find in places like the Midwest, and you find it in Oregon, and you find it in parts of California uh, as well. <coughs> this kind of zoning here called area-based allocation, this is the kind of zoning we use in most of our townships in Lancaster County where you're allowed one building lot for every 25 acres, but the building lot can be no more than two acres in size. So if you had 100 acres, you could carve off four building lots, a maximum of eight acres, and you'd still retain 92 acres for the farm operation. And this is a balance that has worked pretty well for us. Another option you tend to see more in uh, kind of outer suburban areas is this rural cluster where you would put, um, say, 20 houses or so in this area and leave some area open here because you have a stream and maybe up, up here uh, this might connect to other properties and perhaps you could put a, you know, a trail here and have access uh, to a trail network. 